Good evening, everyone. How are you? Good evening. Ready for action? Yes, I ready for action. Excellent. Let's begin. Good evening. Welcome to English work for the English for Work program, beginner four. Welcome to your English class. Today is Monday, October the 2nd. This is class 11. Today we're going to study past tenses. We're going to be working on the past of the simple past. This is the general objective. This is the specific objective. And this is the class objective. Participants will be able to make affirmative sentences correctly using was, were, and the simple past. Okay, this is the agenda. We're going to start with the simple past, call, simple past of B, the simple past of other verbs, and then we'll finish with the dialogue. But before we go to that, let's go to the attendance. Adán Antonio Ramírez. Blanca del Carmen Santos. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Carlos Thank Amilcar you. Campos. Cecilia Maribel Alemán. Present. Excellent, nice. Daniel Enrique Sifontes. Present teacher. Nice, welcome on board. Edgar Ed Edilson Reyes. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Edwin Alexis Perez. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Edwin Albert Alfredo Alcón. Good evening, teacher. Present. Good evening. Welcome on board. Is Rosario Portillo. Gabriela Yamilez Ramirez. Gisela Guadalupe Martinez. Gladys Rubiria Nieto. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Jonathan Stanles Perez. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening, Jose Daniel Cermeño. Jose Ernesto Alemán. Andy Natalia Sánchez. Mauricio Cristóbal Quintanilla. Present teacher, Mario. Oh, Mario, I'm changing your name. Okay, Mario Herman González, Mauricio Antonio Rivera, Miguel Ángel Cortés, Noé Aníbal González. Present teacher. Excelente, Sergio Adolfo Hernández. Present teacher. Okay, nice, welcome on board. My friends, <clears throat> before we start the class, I would like to ask some people, this is just some people that haven't done the midterm exam. The midterm exam is necessary. So please do it, right? Do the, the exam. Also, some of the homework is still missing. So if you could please take the time and do it, that would be great. I have here some some of the rates. Okay, I'm going to mention okay, let me see. I shouldn't do it this way, but I have no option. I have Cecilia Edilson, Edgar Edilson needs to do the midterm. Uh, Edwin Alexis Perez needs to do everything. And um, Gisela Guadalupe Martinez needs to do the homework. 
and the midterm. Then, Jose Daniel Cermeño also has to do everything, the same as Jose Ernesto Alemán. Kendi Natalia Sanchez also needs to do everything. Then Mario Cristobal Quintanilla needs to do the second week of the homework and the midterm. Mario Herman Gonzalez needs to do everything. Then Miguel Angel Cortez needs to do the midterm exam. Well, the others are fine, okay? The others are fine. So I congratulate the people that have finished the homework and uh, I ask the other people. I understand that sometimes we are very busy, we don't have time, but could you please sit down after class and finish the things that you have to do so that you don't have a lot of things to do by the end of the course and you don't have to feel like overwhelmed. Oh my goodness, what am I going to do? Because you have too much to do. So the other people, hey, Congratulations. I have some people like Blanqui, Thank you, Carlos, Carlos Amilcar, uh -huh. that and Thank you. also Esmeralda, <laughs> Gabriela, and uh, Sergio Adolfo Hernandez that have 100, 100, 100 in all of them. But there are other people that don't sing, don't sing the rancheras badly. Okay, <laughs> they are like uh, 90. Well, the minimum is 88 in the ones I have completed. So it's good. Continue working like that. Okay, congratulations. Yeah. Okay, now let's begin the class. We're going to be working on simple pass. Okay, we're going to begin by checking the pronunciation. Um, probably you will say, teacher, I'm not so interested in the simple past or in, I mean, in the simple present because I already know the words. Probably, but I'm going to be uh, pronouncing both simple present, simple past. Please pay attention to the pronunciation of both. Okay, later we're going to be needing these words. We're going to be practicing saying these words in the groups. Um, the people that pay a little more attention or the ones who have more experience with this can help the other people that have trouble, okay? So that would be really nice. Here we go, let's begin. Go, went, give, gave, send, sent, say, said, think, thought, get, got, find, found, fall, fell, feel, felt, leave, left, take, took, do, did, lose, lost, choose, chose, swim, swam, run, ran, speak, spoke, eat, ate, drink, drank, drive, drove, ride, rode, make, made, put, put, wear, wore, teach, taught, catch, caught, bring, brought, buy, bought, sell, sold, pay, paid. I'm going to write the pronunciation of the ones that are more difficult next to the, next to the words, okay? So then in the groups, you're going to practice saying. Thank you for attending tonight.
Okay, this one is difficult. There is no symbol to represent it, but we can say thought, thought, okay? Okay, in the group, I'm going to drop this picture. Well, in the WhatsApp group. Okay, I'm going to see if I can put it in the chat here. Let me see. Some people are reporting that they have taken care of babies, so they cannot be, probably cannot be in class. Okay, that's in the chat here too. Okay. Uh, let's go to the groups and let's practice the pronunciation. In the groups, let's practice saying the word. Okay, the groups are opening, please join. Group one has only one 
well, two people on it. Present the screen. Who is sharing? Maybe Sergio. <laughs> Okay, thank you, Sergio. ¿O cuántos somos? Somos cuatro. Cuatro, sí. ¿Qué soy yo entonces? Y ahí siga usted, Gabriela, después Edwin y después Mario Cristóbal. Ok. Ok. Bueno. Go, when. Give, wait. Send, send. Ay, ya hay un montón. <risa> ah, bueno. Mejor. Sí, ya, ya somos ocho. Sí, ya somos varias. Entonces mejor le damos un bloque y el otro que lee otro bloque y el otro siguiente bloque, y así, y ahí nos repetimos. Why don't Ajá. you put the cell phone Ajá. horizontal? Um, ah, ok, ahí se ve mejor. Thank you. Ok, eh, ¿can I start? Yes. Ok, the first block. Ay. Go, went, give, great, send, send, say, Said, think, thought, get, got, find, found, fall, feel, fail, feel, felt, live, left. Next. Okay. Joy. Take, took, do, did, lose, lost, choose, chose, swing, swung. Room, run, speak, spoke, eat, ate, drink, drunk, dry, drove. Okay, my turn. Right, roll, make, make, made, put, put, wear, wore, teach, taught, catch, Cut, bring, brought, buy, bought, sell, sold, pay, paid. Someone else? Alguien más? <coughs> Go. El wave. siguiente sería, ah, cabal. Give, wave, send, sent. Say, said, think, thought, get, got, find, found, fall, fell, feel, felt, leave, left. Next.
alguien más. Empecemos de nuevo otra vez nosotros. Empiezo yo. Go, went. Give, wipe. Send, sent. Say, said. Thing, shot. Get, got. Find, found. From. Speak, spoke. Eat, eat. Eat. Drink. Drunk, dry, drove, why road, make, made, put, put, wear, wore, teach, taught, catch, caught, bring, brought, buy, bought, sell, sold, pay, pay. Okay, next. I am. Go, went, get, guide, send, set, side, say, think, so, get, go, find, fall, fall, fell, feel, fell. Lead, live, take, to, do, did, love, lose, I don't know, lost, chose, chose, swing, swan, run, run, speak, spark, eat, eat, green, drat, dried, draw, Right, roll, my make, mate, food, put, wear, warm, dish, toad, catch, coat, breed, brop, bite, but, sell, sold, pay, paid. Thank you. Uh, go, give, send, say, think, get, find, hold, feel, live. Uh, so, ¿Cuáles son los que hay que leer? ¿Los, los que están en presente o en...? Juntas, compañero. Hola. Junta se lee, se va a leer. Uh, así como go, presente, went. Presente y pasado, ok. Uh, uh, ok. Go, went, give, gave, sent, sent, say, say, think, talk, get, got, fan, phone, fall, feel, feel, felt, leave, left, take, take, took, Do did lo lose lost choose choose swing swam when run ram speak spoke eat ate drink drank drive drove fly road <coughs> make made put put where work work teach tell Catch cow, bring bro, buy bow, sell soul, pay pay. Okay. Go, when, give, gave, send, send, say, sell, thing, boat. Get, got, find, found, fall, fell, feel, 
felt, live, left, take, took, do, did, load, lost, choose, shows, swim, swam, room, run, speak, spoke, eat, ate, drink, drunk, drive, drop, write, wrote, make, made, put, put, wear, wore, teach, taught, catch, caught, bring, brought, buy, bought, sell, sold, pay, paid. Excellent. Let's go to the main main session. We're going to come back to this exercise. We're going to do it later. Okay. First, we're going to be doing call. Okay. Say this. What do you what type of business is this? What kind of business do you think this is? Is candies, candies? Candy, candy business. Candy bar. Candy. Uh -huh. Can it's a candy bar, exactly. Candy bar. Candy bar, not a candy bar, but a candy bar. Okay, so, yeah, that's right. Uh, here you have a personal question. Do you like candies? I I like I like it a lot. <laughs> you like them a lot, right? Yes, I like okay. I like. It. I love chocolate. Chocolate. My okay. favorite is chocolate, but I haven't eaten chocolate since. Candies. Uh, Father's chocolate. Father's Day. <laughs> Father's Day was the last time that I ate chocolate. So. Maybe soon I will stop and buy some, okay? Let's see. Here in this one, the purpose is to discuss why people call companies, okay? So the purpose is to discuss purpose, okay? Now, we have the first question. Why do customers call? Why do customers call? Okay. Uh, every company, uh, let's say, advertises uh, their telephone number. So for each telephone number, say every company advertises its telephone number on their web pages and ads, etc. So why? Why do people call? Why, what are the principal reasons for people to call? The customer call for ask about the price. Mm -hmm. They call for information, right? Yes. Call for information. The information that they ask is one, the price. What is another type of information that they ask about? Teacher, uh, maybe complaints about uh, bad service. Yeah, they also com they also call to complain about poor service. Uh -huh. Yeah, when they ask for information, they ask about price. nutritional information. What else? 
nutritional information, ingredientes. Ah. Very sugar. Okay. They can ask about prices. They can ask about the location, location of the company. Maybe the, about promotions. Okay. Maybe offer credit card teacher. Ah, uh -huh, exactly. So they may ask about that. Okay. What type of information can you share with a customer? Can you share the formula of your product? Like um, they ask you, hey, your shakes are very delicious. What's your secret? Can you share that information? Teacher, number number of calories the, the product really? or do you contains, think that they call, contains they call to ask about the calories? It's, it's very possible. Cal very calories. It's possible. But usually when they buy the product, in the information about the product, on the other side you have the ingredients. You have the, the calories per serving, the description of the food, I mean, the, the, let's say the food content or the nutritional value of the product. So that is something that appears in the label, in the label of the container. Mm -hmm. But do you think that we can share secrets of the company with customers? Obviously, the answer is no. No. No, we can't. Like, for example, if someone calls me and asks me, a hey, teacher, can you give me Anibal's telephone number? I say, sorry, I can't. A teacher, why not? Because I didn't talk to him. I didn't ask him if he gives permission. But he's my partner. It's, yeah, he's your partner. But I don't have the authorization. I am the teacher. But I don't have the authority to use your personal information. Yeah. Someone says, I know Aníbal. Can you give me his number? I can't. Why not? I don't know if the person is telling me the truth. Or maybe they are from a bank and they want to ask Aníbal if he wants to get a credit card or something, right? So <laughs> no, it's not convenient. So there, are, there is some information that you cannot share with other people. Teacher, but the information is in the group. It's true. But in the group, I don't see the person's name. I only see the telephone number. So maybe you have seen that when you send me a message, I ask you, what's your name? I ask you, oh, and what's your name? because I don't see names, I only see telephone numbers. Because remember that I joined the group through an invitation, just like you, right? So that is one thing that we cannot do. Okay. So what, what kind of information can we share with the customer? The price, the location, if there is an offer, when, the company opens and closes, that type of information? Yes, All right? Okay. Now, <clears throat> if people call, how can we help them? What things can we do to help people who call? Asking about the company. Maybe they are complaining like somebody said, teachers, sometimes they call to complain. Yes, 
But there are also some people that call not to complain, they call to ask for information about the company. So how can we help? Maybe instead of speaking, sending them a text message with the address, right? Or with the telephone number of the company for them to call. That can help, right? What other things can we do to help? Ideas? How can we help a customer on the telephone? Mm -hmm. Ideas? Teacher, we don't work with on the telephone, so we don't know. Yeah, but what do you suppose? What ideas come to your mind? You can explain the policies of the company. What else? Explain policies, give details about products, the prices, uh, the amounts, or any other offer, right? That's something that we can do. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Listen to the teacher read the words and repeat. Write what customers do and what companies representatives do. <laughs> Sorry. My voice is very soft today. So let's see. Pick up the phone. Who picks up the phone? The company, the company's representative, or uh, the customer. Pick up the phone in this case means answer. The companies. The company representative, right? So we're going to say, pick up the phone. Okay. Understand. Who understands? <laughs> it's a very simple situation, but we say, understand what teacher? Customer. I don't know, it's only, it says only understands. Who understands? Both. Yes, Please. both. And For both. communication, one has to understand, the other has to understand, right? So we can put understand. Okay, explain. Who explains? Company. The company. The, the company re, company's representative, but both explain. Both. The customer explains the problem. And the company's representative explains what is a possible solution, right? So both explain. Okay. Complain. Who complains? Customer. The customer the complains. Customer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the customer complains because yeah, the company's representatives cannot uh, tell the customer, ah, but you don't know. In this company they pay me very little. 
and they made me work a lot. And it's very difficult for me, you know. Uh -uh, no. So the one that complains is the customer. What about help? Who helps? Company representative. The company representative, right? Helps. Well, I'm going to just put help. Now, request information. Who requests information? Both. Both, right? Both. Request information. Request information. Mm -hmm. Get prices. Customer. The prices customer. The customer gets the prices, right? Okay. Who provides information? Both, right? Both. Both. Who assists? Who assists? Company. Company. The company representative. Mm -hmm. The company's representative assists. Who buys? Customer. 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 Okay, who calls? Customer. Customer. In reality, both, but yeah, yes. normally the customer. Who receives the call? Customer. If the Company customer calls, who receives the call? Company representative. The company representative. Okay. Okay. So this is about company. Okay. Let's see. Now we say like this. Choose the department where you work in, where you work. Choose the department where you work. And uh, okay, choose the department where you work and a friend. Explain to a partner what activities you do there. In the place where you work, do you receive phone calls? Every day. Every All day. day. <laughs> and All what day. do the customers call about? Uh, the last call. Sorry? Uh, repeat. What do customers call for? Uh, for customers calls for technical support. For technical support, okay. What was the last call that you had about? Uh, what did the, the person call for? The person? Uh -huh. What did the person call you for? Uh, it's for the is the uh, company FESA. No. Excellent. 
Thank you very much. Now let's move on. So that is something that we needed to do. Okay, we're going to begin with the simple past tense. Okay. First thing, first thing first. Let's begin with the verb to be. To be in the past. What's the verb to be in the past? Do you remember? Was, was, Excellent. Was, was where? Mm -hmm. Was where? Okay, you say like this. I was, you were, let me see, I'm going to simplify the order. He was, she was, and it was. Then you were, we were, they were. Okay. So I was, he was, she was, it was, you were, we were, they were. Like this, four with was, three with were. Teacher, but here you don't have the you singular. Well, it's the same thing. You were, you were. So that's why I didn't want to repeat it, right? Then you have, what is the complement that we have? In front, we normally have place, job, and the description. Right? Place, job, description. Let's, instead of job, let's put now. Okay. Let's see. Example, place. I was at home. I was at home. Noun. It was a large bat. It was a large bat, Batman, <laughs> Batman. Description. He was very tall. Okay, so you see, with the verb to be, we use place. Okay, we use a uh, noun, bat, and we use adjectives, okay? So I'm going to change description for adjective. Um, adjective. Let me see some examples with nouns. First places. What places can you say? At home, at school, at work, at work, at the beach, mm -hmm. at, the at the church, at church, <clears throat> at church. Okay. places. Now let's have jobs, etc. 
he was a lawyer. He was a dentist. They were um, what? Teachers. Teachers. And they were teachers. He was a second. They were doctors. Okay. Over here, you say, I was at home. You were at school. We were at work. They were at the beach. You were at church. About adjectives. She was beautiful. It was easy. We were tired. They were angry. I was sad. Okay, so this would be a the verb to be in the in the past. We can have an adverb too. I was early, I was late, etc. But this would be more common. Comment that we can make. We use the verb to be with um, jobs when the person is retired or the person is dead, usually when the person is dead. Um, like for example, there are some jobs you stop doing, but there are other jobs that you cannot stop doing. I mean, you, the ones that you study at the university, they are like, uh, The jobs that, uh, let's say, you study at the university, they are forever. Even you can be old and you say, I'm a doctor, right? I'm an engineer. You will be an engineer until you die, or you will be a doctor until you die. But a salesperson, you can stop being a salesperson. You can work, uh, I don't know. You can work as a chef or you can work in a different area. So in that case, you stop being that. Angelitos, okay. let's continue. Let's see the examples that we have. One volunteer to read the examples. Uh, 
who wants to me teach? teacher yes please go ahead i was sleeping she was grown we were happy they were teachers i was in france in june we were angry they were sad they were at home excellent Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. So you say like, I was, you were, he was, she was, it was, we were, you were, and they were. Okay. So this, uh, this is the conjugation that we have. Okay. A past event could be one thing that happened in the past. Wow. Okay. Or a repeated thing. Okay. Let's say... How do we, we talk about the past tense when things have finished. Things have finished and they are, they happened at a specific time and they are disconnected from the present. Because if they are connected to the present, we use present perfect. If they are, they happen at an indefinite time, present perfect. So, the action has already finished. Is this connected from the present? It has finished. Simple past. Okay. For example, we say, I stopped at a crosswalk. We carried on with the test. We played tennis every day in August. We stayed at my grandparents' house last summer. Okay. So we're going to check. We move from the from was and where we have some exercise here that we're going to be doing later. Okay, but we're going to be working first on this because of time. A state is a condition, right? It's a situation without an action happening. We stayed at my grandparents' house last summer. Okay, let's begin with the past, the other type of past. Simple past. My friends, the most common way to express simple past is with the ED. But the ED is not pronounced the ED is not pronounced ED like washer, cooked, cleaner. Nope. Okay. Uh, this is pronounced depending on the last letter of the verb. For example, let me see. I'm going to separate them by. Uh, it's pronounced T. Show me the pronounced. T after double S S H C H X E same K the pronunciation of F I say the pronunciation because the spelling for that sound is usually like four, four or five different ways. Okay. Double S, S H, X, P, K, C, and usually C, E. Okay. Let me see just to mention some examples. Is cooked like uh, danced, fix, watched, washed, rushed, food. Work, 
Walk, teacher. Sorry? Walk. 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 Ah, walk. Yes. Walk. Talk. Light. Hey, teacher, is in the same direction. Light. Okay. Let me see. Cooked. We have cooked. Mm -hmm. Light. Kiss. Stopped. Okay. Passed. Reached. Reached, passed, stopped, knocked, walked, worked, hoped, crashed, washed, watched, fixed, danced, light, cooked, kissed. Okay. We see others like this. Enhance, well, not teacher, sophisticated words, not easy words. Moved, nah, moved is the other one. So, stuffed, telephone, no, nah. let me see. Left, off, stuffed, means rellenar, stuffed. Okay, another one that is simple. Book. Okay, enough. Now, D. Pronounce D. The pronunciation D pretty much depends on the sound of B. L, M, N, O, R. Sometimes S when the S is pronounced Z, okay, like advise, but normally advised. So you can say R. B, Y, W, Y, Z, right? Z. Okay. Let's say, for example, the B, Rob, robbed, cold, claimed, Complained, complained, uh, let me see, good, weird, sir. Viewed and buzzed. Mm -hmm. Of course, there are a lot. With that, there are many. But then we have. New syllable, ed. Some people pronounce with it simple, but it's more like schwa sound because it's not stressed. New syllable. New syllable only happens after d or t. After d or t. Example. 
collect wanted attracted visitor but need needed intended decided decided pretended invaded etc so Let's see the pronunciation. Kissed, cooked, light, danced, fixed, watched, washed, crashed, hoped, worked, walked, talked, stopped, passed, reached, laughed, coughed, stuffed, booked. Roved, called, claimed, complained, booed, cleared, served, stayed, viewed, buzzed, collected, wanted, attracted, visited, needed, intended, decided, pretended, invaded. Okay, so these are the, th the three pronunciations for ED. P, D, and new syllable, ED. So after D, you cannot say D because it's D, and you cannot say T because it's D. So after D, you have to pronounce all the syllable. Collect, collected, wanted. You can say wanted too, wanted. Attracted, visited, needed, intended, decided, pretended, invaded, right? So that, those are the pronunciations, okay? All right, I'm going to send you the information. Okay, sharing the information here. Hey, so my dear Angelitos, let's go to the presentation. Okay, let's see. Regular past simple forms are formed by adding ed to the infinity of the verb. Start, started, kill, killed, jump, jump. Spelling rules. If, you, if a verb ends in e, you add only the D, right? Agree, agreed. Like, like. Escape, escaped. You only write D. If a verb ends in a vowel, in a consonant, the consonant is doubled before the D, right? Stopped, planned. This happens when it's only one syllable, right? One syllable. If it's one syllable, we have consonant, vowel, consonant, we double the last consonant, right? Stopped, P, P, E, D. Planned, planned, double N, okay? So we go like this. If a verb ends in a consonant, N, Y, you eliminate the Y by by Y. And, uh, or change it for I, E, V, 
try, tried. Why? Because it is a consonant before. Carry, carried. But if the word ends in Y, all the same, but it's preceded by a con by a vowel, not a consonant, but a vowel, you only add ED. Play, played. Before the Y is a vowel. So you only add ED. Enjoy, enjoyed, enjoyed. Play, played, stay, stayed, right? Just like that. Okay, some expressions of time. To talk about the past tense, we use all the lasts. Last week, last night, last month, last year, okay? Or the ago, two days ago, three weeks ago, five months ago, seven years ago, 10 minutes ago. We pronounce it ago, right? Ago. Two days ago, three weeks ago, five months five months ago, seven years ago, thirty minutes ago. Okay. Then the other examples with the days like last Monday, last Tuesday, last Wednesday, etc., or last night, yesterday afternoon. If you use yesterday, you only say yesterday morning. Yesterday afternoon, yesterday evening. You don't say yesterday in the morning, yesterday in the. No, you eliminate in the. Yesterday morning, yesterday afternoon, yesterday evening. Okay. So yesterday, the day before yesterday, yesterday was Sunday. The day before yesterday was Saturday. The day before yesterday. Then last Monday, last night, yesterday afternoon. Or years in 2021, in January, on October the 30th. So the 31st, sorry, October the 31st, not the 30th, but the 31st. Okay, so we have like this. Okay, before we actually go to this, let's see how we make sentences. Okay. because we're missing the other part, the other part of the orange. This is regular. What about the irregular? Okay. Irregular verbs. With irregular verbs, like it says, regular comes from Latin regulus. That means rule. Irregular means there is no rule. Then if there is no rule, what do we have to do? Group the words with similar sounds. I organize the words with similar sounds. That's what I do because I cannot do anything else. I'm going to send you a picture with the organization of those because right now, I'm going to just give you some examples. For example, we have words that are similar. Lend. Bend, send, okay, send, bend, lend. Uh, let me see what other can we have like this? Just to have with the same sound, spend. Okay, now with these ones, what is the past tense? Change the D for T. Change okay. The past tense is e and t. So we say lent, bent, sent, spent. Okay, easy. Now, if we have other words like right, ride, drive, rise. Right, right, drive, rise. Um, what else? Let me see another one. Maybe a rise. What do you say, teacher? We don't use it much. Okay. The past tense is only changing the letter I. Okay. 
I equals O. Okay, and you say, what's the past tense of right? Road, drive, road, drive, drove, rise, rose, arise, arose. Arose, teacher, arose con carne. Yes, okay, arose. So now we say like that. Okay, another one that is uh, similar, but okay, like this. Maybe you can say, if it finishes in O, the past tense is with U. Okay, example, no. What's the past tense of no? New, All right? Past tense of grow, grew, throw. Through. Okay. Um, what else? Throw, grow, no, blow. Okay. This, the past tense is you. So, no, new, grow, grew, throw, through, blow, blew. Okay. How about they finish in double L, like cell, tell? Okay. Uh, retail, right? Sell, tell, retail. Okay. The, the past tense is old. Old. So, what do we say? Sell, sold. Tell, told. Retail, retold. Okay. Okay. What about? If the verb is, <clears throat> let me see, another one that we have similar, the double, let me see, ip, like e -E -P. the past tense is ept, more like weep, sleep, Sweep, sleep, sleep, sweep, sleep, weep. Um, what else? This one, the past tense is weep, wept, sleep, slept, sweep, swept, creep, crept. Okay. There is another one like is air, past tense is or like for these ones we have where, war, air, tor, square, war, mm -hmm. bear, bore. Their boards were swore, their tour were war. So if they come in this way, with them like this, okay? What happens if they finish in EED? The past tense is only like this, ED, like speed, sped, bleed, bled, feed, fed. Okay, feed, okay, speed, sped, bleed, bled, feed, fed. And there are some verbs that the past tense is the same, never changes. For example, cut, past, past tense is the same, cut, put, spread, hit, quit, pause. Past, or past, bet, let, set, set, okay, set, let, bet, cast, cause, quit, hit, spread, put, burst, hurt, okay, Burst, hurt, set, let, all of these don't change. 
these verbs don't change. As tense is the same. Okay, so this can give you an idea. Okay. For you not to worry, not to worry about some of these verbs. Ooh, there are a lot of verbs, yes, but they are not so complicated. Put them like this. Okay. Here we go, my dear Angelitos. Okay, so, past tense. Now, yes, let's go to the other. Now we have the other one. This is like, teacher, that is the past tense. Yes, check over here the past tenses. I was great, you know, it was a great experience. The agent was very helpful. You were on our page. We were excited about the service. So here we're missing the, the service. I gave my account information. He called yesterday at night. Mm, what do we say instead of yesterday at night? I only copied the information, but this is wrong. What instead of that, what do we use? My dear Angelitos. Yesterday night or yesterday last night? Only last night. Last night. Mm -hmm. Only last night. Yesterday at night, nobody says that. Nobody tells you, well, my American friends don't say that. Hey, I saw you yesterday at night. No. Maybe they say, I saw you yes, I saw you yesterday at night. Ah, well, that's another story. But in this like this, I saw you last night. He called last night. He called last night. The program worked well. They bought that product last week. Okay. <clears throat> Something important with the past tense, there is no difference if it's he, she, it, or we, you, they, whatever. The past tense is the same, the same word for all of the persons. So you say, I visited, you visited, he visited, she visited, it visited, we visited, they visited. Everything is the same. I bought, he bought, she bought, we bought, they bought. Doesn't matter. Past tense doesn't have ES or S. That is only for the simple present. In the past tense, no. Okay. Now, before we get to this, you remember I told you that we have one thing that we left behind. We're going to go back, pick it up. This one, okay? We're going to do this. This page eight, it says complete with the simple past tense of the verb. Complete with the simple past tense of the verb, these verbs. Okay. Let's see, let's go to the groups and let's do it together, okay? So my dear Angelitos, the groups are opening, please join.
page eight. Excellent. That's the one. I bought I bought a new pair of shoes yesterday. Excellent. I bought. Mary, I I went on vacation yesterday. Mary went. Mary, Mary went. 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 Huh? Tony ate ten pupusas last night. Mm -hmm. Only ten pupusas. <laughs> Imagine only ten pupusas. I paid. I paid a lot of money for this. Hmm? Only period. paid the spelling. Paid. 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 Excellent. <laughs> paid. Very good. A lot of money for, for his new computer. Uh -huh. Found them. Found. Teresa found the job last. Yeah, very good. Good job. Let's... Becky I told. Told. Yes. Yes, Gary. Teacher. Uh -huh. Teacher. I can <laughs> take a screenshot and I can. My dear Niñita, but you know that I always send the class to the WhatsApp group. And my cell phone, I can, I can put the information. You can only download it. Click on download. You open, you open WhatsApp, download it. When it opens, okay, click on open it. You can open it when you download it, you can open it from one WhatsApp, it doesn't matter. Click and open, when it opens, you can share. In my cell phone, teacher. In the cell phone, exactly. Mm. Mm -hmm. In the cell phone. But if you cannot do it, maybe it's easier for you. I'm going to send you a screenshot. Okay. There's a screenshot in the chat. Is complete with the simple past tense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Click on it and share it. Click on it and share it. Click on it, you open it. Then in the Green button, click and select what uh, screen you want to share. Okay. Okay. Be my the new movie movie yesterday. Mm -hmm. so, 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 Vilma saw so, the new movie yesterday. So, is with the movie. <laughs> like the movie saw. Only that that movie is a so, Sierra, right? But this is so. <laughs> mm -hmm. bring... Okay. Carlos bring Carlos Bro. candies for the children today. Uh, yes. Bro. Bro. Uh -huh, bro. Okay. Bro. Okay. Bro. Uh, 
Así, ¿verdad? Broth. 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 Ok. Vanessa, her cell phone her at cell the party, at the party last, night. last night. I put the past tense. Lose is the present. Lose, past yeah. tense, lost. Oh. So only copy. <laughs> okay. Lost. Macario. Okay. Something okay. about a new piece of homework. Say. Said. Said. Macario said, said something about a new piece of homework. Said. Como, como se pronuncia? Said. 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 Sed. Okay. Sed. Like tengo sed. Sed de agua. Sed de water. Sed de water, no. Yeah. <laughs> de water. <laughs> 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 Tony, teach me how to use that program. Tony. Yeah. Tau. 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 Tough or tough? Excellent. Yes. Let me check number two and then we go to the main room. Okay. Stephanie, let's go to the main session. Let's do it. Bought. Went. Ate. Paid. Found. Hold. War. Rough. Pain. Fall. Brought. Teacher missing a note a you. Yes. Lost. The verb is lose in the present. So I put the past tense. Macario said. Antoni taught. Taught. And the complete sentence says, I bought a new pair of shoes yesterday. Mary went on vacation yesterday. Tony ate 10 pupusas last night. Jack paid a lot of money for his new computer. Teresa found a job last week. Becky told me about his new job opportunity. Jack wore a nice pair of jeans to the party. Betty drove her car to work. Sylvia came to school late this morning. Vilma saw the new movie yesterday. Carlos brought candies for the children today. Vanessa lost her cell phone at the party last night. Macario said something about a new piece of homework. And Tony taught me how to use that program. Okay, this is the exercise. Now we'll say, let, let's go to the, the exercises that we're going to be doing.
Okay. This is the first one. Write the sentences with the words provided using the past of B or the simple past. Okay. Let's go to the groups and let's do it. Please do page 18, right? Join the groups and do page 18. Okay, I was. Interested. Interested product. Okay. You, you what? I was you interested what? in the product. I was interested in the product. In the product. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you bought the idea on December. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, you bought the item in December. Mm -hmm. in December. <laughs> Exactly. In Bye. December, in December, on in December. December, in December, in December, okay. in December. Mm -hmm. You bought. She read. Ah, uh, she, she, she. She read. The police read. Pass. No. Read. She read. The sayings. It says the same. Okay. 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 Del B o el presente. No, el simple. Simple class. Simple. O el pasado simple. Uh -huh. Simple class. I was interested in the product. In the product. Uy. Entonces ambos se pondrían en pasado. Pasado simple. No, interested is an adjective. Interesado. Mm. En presente, yo estoy interesado. Y en pasado, yo estaba interesado, pero como bueno. Interesado es adjetivo, no cambia. Ok. I was interested in the product. Mm -hmm. In the product. Yeah. yeah. You bought, bought you bought the, the item you bought, bought the, the item. item in December. You bought the item in December. Bought the in. item in December. Mm -hmm. in December. You bought the item in December. Okay. She Number three. 
El pasado de Reed sería... Sería lo mismo, ¿eh? You write, you write it the same. The same. The same. You pronounce it red. But yeah. it's the same. You read the poly. Polices. The super visor. Gave, gave me a discount. Gave. Provisor gave me a discount. Hey, I put the past things. Well, I didn't put it. You just cop I just copied. This is from the, the, from same. the book. From the book. Mm. The super the same mistake that I made in Lost. <laughs> <laughs> okay. the supervisor gave me a discount. Gave me a discount. And the number five. They, they sent. They sent me. Uh -huh. They sent the, con the contract to my email. They sent the contract to my email. Uh -huh. To my email. Uh -huh. Okay. That's it? No, there are six, right? Oh. Uh, he, he was, was mm -hmm. disappointed is an adjective. Uh -huh. Disappointed. disappointed. Decepcionado. Uh -huh. He was disappointed. Yeah. All right. Okay. That's it. Excellent. Let me check the other group. Group three. The supervisor. Eh, la number four. Four. The past tense, I mean, in the exercise, the past tense appears. So, this only copy. The supervisor gave me this card. Only copy. No, number four. Yeah. Only Ay. copy. <laughs> Teacher. Yes. We have a problem with the first. The first yeah. sentence. Why? What's the past tense of the verb to be? Es al formar la oración because completa. I was. I was interested in interested the product. In the product. Ah, mm -hmm. claro. Okay. In I the, the, in the product. product. I was interested in the product. Okay. No me Inter creían. Interested. Ah. <laughs> interested. <laughs> okay. interested había debate, había Hmm. Interested is an adjective, right? Uh, uh, Interesado. It's no past tense. Okay. Is is B B the, B the past is was. was. I was okay. interested in the product. In the product. Mm -hmm. the, the second sentence is yes, you bought the you item bought on December. The item on you December. bought the item in December. In December. In, in December. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go, let the see. third she read the policies. Uh -huh. Number five. They five. sent <laughs> sent with T. Yeah, with T. They sent the contract the to contract my email. To my email. They sent the contract to my email. He was disappointed he was disappointed disappointed the problem now with the email is that the email is very limited so it was it's better to use whatsapp in the last teacher only he was disappointed he was disappointed only. disappointed mm -hmm. he was disappointed he was disappointed exactly all right, let's go to the main, main session. No problem. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. okay. Let's see.
I was interested in the product. You bought the item in December. She read the policies. She read the policies. Policies are politicas of the company. So the supervisor gave me a discount, only copy. Supervisor gave me discount. They sent the contract to my email. And the last one, he was disappointed. Disappointed means decepcionado, right? He was disappointed about the grade he received. He was disappointed about the grade he received. Right. Like that. Now we have to write the past tense. The past tense of these verbs. Okay. So, is it important? Yes. But it's more important to do the other part. So, this exercise, we're going to go to the groups. We're going to do this exercise, this exercise, and this exercise. One, two, three. Three exercises. Forget about this one. You can do it in your house. Okay. This, this, and this are more important. In the first one, the, the verb, the verb in the past. So the verb in parentheses in the past. Here also the verb in parentheses in the past. And here the same, the verb in parentheses in the past. 10 items, 12 items, and 12 items. Let's go to the groups and let's go. Do as much as you can. Groups are opening. Please join. And let's do those three exercises. Sí. Sí, sí. Hi. 
Ay, Edwin. Me, me mandó a, esta es la tercera sesión a la que me mandan, no sé por qué. Primero apareció a una, después, después. Ah, ve, si sí, yo estaba con Gabriela en la otra, en la primera. Luego all, aparecí en otra. No, the people are connected, but they don't join the groups. Ah, so okay. some groups were very small, and other groups were very big with ghosts. There were okay. no people there. They were only ah, okay. the name appeared, but they never showed up. So I decided to move you so to have someone to practice with. Okay. If not you don't practice because okay. you are alone. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. No problem. So we answered <laughs> answered all the questions. Okay. Number four. Uh, is in the past. Did you? Did you? Yes. Finish it. No. I did think. you finish? No. Only, only, only finish. finish. Because, because the are... auxiliary, for me, because it's a question. I did think. You, did you finish your homework? No. Did. Did. Did, did you okay. finish? Did, uh-huh. Yeah. Did okay. you finish your homework? Present. The verb in the present. Yes. Finish. Did you finish? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh -huh. Did you finish your homework? Your homework. And the answer is no, I, I didn't. No, I didn't. 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 Excellent. Yes. Number five. You are in, you are in La Jugada. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Karen asked. Where? Where? Me imagino que sí, pero ah, where? Was. Was Was Mary at home last night? Was Mary at home? Was she? And on number four is did you finish? Did. Did you finish? Did. <laughs> Finish now. Finish. I didn't. The verb is in the present. The auxiliary is in the past. The verb is in the present. <laughs> right? I didn't. Yeah, huh? And you yeah. say, Did you finish your homework? No, I didn't. Uh -huh. Sorry. Finish. Yes, he did. I mean, did, 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 did you, you uh, invite them? Did you invite uh, them to the party last week? And it's question mark it. Did you? Mm -hmm. Did you invite them to? Was Maria at home last night? No, she wasn't. She was. Where? 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 No, they weren't. They weren't. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, they weren't. Uh, was, 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 was the exam easy? The exam easy. Yes, it was. It, yes, I was. Yes, it it was. Attend. Did you attend? Did you attend? To attend. Attend. <laughs> Instead of parentheses, the number eight appeared. <laughs> yeah, it's because without the. It's good. It's good. It was good. Just yeah. gave. Oh, okay. gave. Right? When you use did, you use the verb in the present. Did you attend? Did you invite? No past tense. Oh. Send. Petronila mm -hmm. send me a poster. Invite. Invite. Exactly. The same, uh -huh. right? Excellent. Mm -hmm. yeah, gay. Petronila sent. Yeah. Petronila sent. Send me a postcard. Uh, uh, sent. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not. Ed, this is right. This is right. Okay. Somebody knocked, knocked at the door. 
but I didn't open. Dracula knocked on the door, but I didn't open. Mm -hmm. Here, nobody is working, my friend. Jonathan. Esmeralda, Mario, Adán, Gisela. Nobody is working in this group. Ok, teacher, este, no teníamos la captura para trabajar, teacher. Yo porque con el cel estaba... Eh, I sent the early in the afternoon, I always send the, uh, the PDF for you to have it ready for the class. There is no excuse like I don't have. You have, I sent it early. I didn't send it during the class, I sent it before. And I sent it like three hours, or, well, two hours and a half before. And it only takes one minute to download. Gave me. Candy yesterday. Y Petronella sent. Sent. Send me a postcard. Uh huh. Okay. The, the other exercise. Last, Last night, somebody... somebody knocked at the door. But I. Not happen. Not, not, not. Knocked. Knocking on heaven's door. Guns and roses. <laughs> yeah. In the, the, the actual rose say, uh, knock, knock, knock. <laughs> mm -hmm. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. Only that knack is ability. Knock. Knock is knock is. Yes. Mm -hmm. And if you do it fast, it's rap. Rap on the door. Yes. I but didn't, I don't didn't open. Didn't. didn't didn't open the verb in the present. Open didn't. Open. The student walked. Walk. Walk. Ed. 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 Yes. Down the street with mm -hmm. Something strange happened. 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 Last night. Something strange happened last night. Happened last night. Don't check his answers. Check. 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 Postman deliver the letters. The letters. We lived. 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 Okay. Lived. Only D. Only D. Lived. Yes. Three years. Ellen. Didn't study. Didn't study. Didn't study. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For the exam. 
Sochi. Send it. ED. Sailed ship. Sailed. Sailed it. She sailed, sailed it. it. So she failed it. She didn't gave. 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 His gave wife, his wife flowers. 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 Yesterday. Tony said said hello to the new secretary. Said hello to the new secretary. Liked. They liked the present very much. We talked. 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 Talked about the wedding. We talk about the weather. Weather. You traveled. Travel. You traveled a lot last year. Okay. Excellent. The, la the last exercise. Oh yeah, missing the last one. Only he went. Time, <laughs> only that time. He finished. went. Uh, yes, he, he went. Scott went to a cloud. To a cloud. Okay, we're going to continue with this tomorrow. Time is up. We're going to go to attendance. 14 people are out. We're missing three. When we use neg the negative form, we say, didn't go. Didn't study. The verb is in the present. The auxiliary is in the past. Didn't eat. Didn't say. Didn't study. Didn't visit. And in the questions, we say, did whatever go. Did you go. The verb is in the present. The auxiliary is in the past. Did you go to the movies yesterday? And we answered, yes, I did. No, I didn't. Okay. We're going to study more of this tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow we're going to be working on negative and stuff, right? So, but you did a good job. Thank you very much for attending. We stop here. Let's go to the main session. No, let's do that to the attendance, not the main session. Adan Antonio Ramirez. Blanca del Carmen Santos. Present teacher. Excellent. Carl, Carlos Amilcar Campos. Present. Excellent. Cecilia Maribel Alemán. Daniel Enrique Sifontes. Present teacher. Excellent. Edgar Edilson Reyes. Present teacher. Nice. Very good. Edwin Alexis Perez. Edwin Alfredo Alcón. Present teacher. Nice, very good. Esmeralda del Rosario Portillo. Present teacher. Nice, very good. Gabriela Yamilez Ramirez. Present teacher. Excellent, very good. Gisela Guadalupe Martinez. Present teacher. Excellent. Señorita, you owe me the midterm exam and also the homework for week one and for week two. Please complete. Okay. Per favore, io prego. <laughs> Gladys Rovidia Nieto. Jonathan Stanles Perez. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Jose Daniel Cermeño. Jose Daniel. Okay. Jose Ernesto Alemán. Present teacher. Don Jose Ernesto Alemán, you owe me the homework for week one, the homework for week two, and you owe me the midterm exam. Please go ahead and do it. Okay. Yes, please, please, please go ahead. 
Kendi Natalia Sánchez. Mario Cristóbal Quintanilla. Present teacher. Okay. Marito, please do week two in the midterm exam. Per favor. Okay. Yes. Mario yes. Germán González. Yes. Mario Germán González. Yes. Okay, my friend, you need you need to do homework for week one, for week two, and the midterm exam. Everything. Please work. Work on that. I want you to pass the course, okay? Please do it. Then, Mauricio Antonio Rivera. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Miguel Angel Cortez. I'm here. Miguelito, please do the midterm. The rest is okay, but the midterm needs to be completed. Okay. Jose okay. No Noé Aníbal González. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Sergio Adolfo Hernández. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Okay, thank you very much for attending tonight. Tonight, Gisela Guadalupe Martinez stays. The other people, thank you for attending tonight. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Take care. Take care. You too. See you tomorrow. Thanks. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, be good. Hi, teacher. Hello, Gisela. Hello, teacher. How are you doing? Doing fine. Hey, thank you for staying. Good. Thank okay. you. Your thank you for your time. Yes, my friend. My pleasure. Gisela, <laughs> probably you are very busy, but I need you to do the homework, okay? Homework for week one and for the week two, and also the midterm exam. Yes, teacher. But um, I little talk about with you, um, I am um, um, embarrassed, embarrassed, you know, pregnant. Are you pregnant? pregnant? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I finally my my time for my probably for. In, in the week, I have my baby. This weekend, you will have the baby. Yes, in the week. Yes. During uh, this week. Yes. Wow. Or this night. Or tonight. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I understand you. Yeah, but it's done. Is don't is don't problem because I I responsibility my no, homework no my friend, and my homework no. and I practice my my English because mm -hmm. it's very important for me. Yes, yes, I know. No, the thing is pregnant huh? and almost near the explosion. No, no, no. Yeah, <laughs> I understand. Uh, it's very difficult. It's very difficult, is, yeah. Is it the first baby or the second? No, first baby. Um, yes. And, yeah, I am, I know that you feel anxious, nervous, afraid, but don't be. I'm really, really, I'm nervous. No, no, don't be. Your baby is going to be beautiful. It's going to be strong, healthy. And healthy. you will be very happy with it. Okay, so. Okay. I understand you, don't worry. My obligation is to ask everybody to do the homework. Yeah. But in your case, my goodness, if mm, I'm a man, but imagine if yeah. I were pregnant and I were about to explode, ooh, you know, I would be very worried. I would be very <laughs> nervous too. So I understand you, don't worry. It's like, but mm, I want you to pass the course too. That's why I, I was telling, but, mm. Um, I don't know what to say because to be honest you know yourself better because yeah. I am I have never been pregnant and I will never be pregnant so I, never. <laughs> I cannot have an opinion about that so I only know that it's difficult 
So I don't have any doubt that you are very disciplined and responsible. Yeah. Uh, yes, I know that this is an emergency. Yeah. And uh, well, do your best, okay? Whenever you can. Yeah. Uh, maybe you are, I don't know in what position you are because uh, you cannot be sitting down for a long time. Maybe you are lying down. So maybe you put the cell phone like that and you are working that way, probably. Yes, yeah, okay. probably, yeah. No. Yeah, it is emerging um, mm -hmm. because I go to the, the hospital. But the way something um, okay. I need... Uh, I need to learn a lot of English. Uh, learn mm -hmm. English is my goal. Yes, yes, I understand. Do you have any questions about the things that we have studied? No, because I I understand the class mm -hmm. because I admirable the your time in the class because uh, I I. I see a lot of learning in learning new um, new um, things. Yeah. Okay. Ah, he said that. Okay, congratulations. Okay, and God give you the energy that you have that you need for having that baby. And, yeah. Uh, God bless your baby. Okay. Thank you so much. Yes, I hope that everything <laughs> is fine and that everything comes out right. Okay. Yes. Yes. Hey, that's nice. Very good. Congratulations. Thank you, teacher. Yes. Thank you for your time. Bless you. Take care. See you too. Take care. See, See you probably you. tomorrow. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Hopefully. If Hopefully, the explosion yeah. hasn't happened yet. Okay. Explosion, I go to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Good night. Okay. Take care. Night. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay, let me see if I can be fast to finish this. This is it, this and studied. Insert Did you finish? Did you finish your homework? No, I didn't. Are you asked? Did you invite? Was Mary at home? Was Mary at home last night? No, she wasn't. Were they happy to see you? No, they weren't. No, they weren't. Was the exam easy? Yes, it was. Did you attend the party?
that gave me a candy yesterday. That Tamila sent me a postcard. Not, but I didn't. Even swap. Something strange happened. I'm checking. Postman delivered. We lived up. And then we didn't study. Didn't study for the exam, so she failed it. That gave, uh, gave his wife flowers yesterday, and he said, uh, "Now to the new secretary, they like the present very much." We talked about the weather. You traveled a lot. Last year, she went to a club last night. She gave her a doll. My parents came. I saw a movie last week. I finished work. Walk to the to the beach and met some friends. Lived, played, saw, ate, got. 